What's going on guys? Sean Katsera back with another video. I appreciate all you guys that have hung in during this coronavirus and the quarantine. Guys, it's about week four. I'm trying my best to bring you guys some content. So today I'm gonna go over my top 10 haircuts that I've ever done. Get you guys feedback, see what you think. I'm gonna break them down for you and tell you guys why they're my favorites. See what you guys think. So let's get right to it. All right, guys, so let's get right into this. I'm gonna pull up a haircut. I'm gonna break it down for you guys, tell you what I like about it, uh, give you some backstory on it, and uh, you guys leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you agree with this ranking. Uh, if, if you like one of the other ones better than the ones I picked, uh, just let me know what you guys think. So anyways, let's get into the first one. All right, the first cut, this is on Jackson Cuts Hair, guys. This is the first haircut I ever did on Jackson. Uh, this picture is really special to me. Um, we've done a lot more cooler designs at this point, uh, but this is the very first one we did, really solid. And you know, this is what locked him into being a, a client for life with me. So we did this design, he loved it. Uh, this is when we really hit it off. So this picture right here is one of my first pictures from the shop, uh, the first haircut I ever did on Jackson. And it'll just always be real special to me. So like I said, we've done a lot cooler designs since then. Uh, so that's why this is number 10, but this, this is gonna always hold a special place with me uh, for the first cut we did on Jackson. So um, you guys can see it's a it's pretty decent design, not really uh, not really complicated as far as with fades and whatever, but um, turned out clean. Uh, you can see how young he is in that picture. He was probably eight in that picture, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, that's number 10. Let's look at number nine. All right, so number nine, guys, this is one of my clients that has recently moved away to uh, California, back home. I think this is the last time that I cut his hair. And guys, I'm gonna pull up a couple of my haircuts prior to this. His hair was one of those textures that really allowed me to practice uh, getting that perfect blurry blend. So you guys will see on some of the first pictures, I didn't have very much weight up top and I didn't get it very bald at the bottom. And every time I cut it, I tried to do a little bit better of maintaining that drop fade shape, getting it real blurry. Uh, he just had really good hair for that. So I miss Greg, man. I, I hope you're doing well in California and uh, miss cutting your hair for sure. That was a good canvas. So. Guys, this is number nine. This is one of the cleaner fades I've ever done, but you guys know me, I like creative stuff a little bit more than just a basic haircut. So that's why it's down at the bottom of the list. All right, so number eight, guys, this is my client, Tiffany. Uh, she has had her side shaved since I worked in my first barber shop. So I've been cutting her hair about six years. And you guys are gonna see a common theme on most of these clients. They're gonna be my longtime people. Uh, so that adds on to why some of these are my favorites. But with designs, guys, you know it's hard to come up with new stuff every time. Uh, she likes big, bold lines. And uh, this kind of swirl design I had tried a few times and this is the one that I nailed it. So uh, a lot of you guys, I'm not sure if you guys see the same as I do when you do designs, but I can always pick out something that I don't like. Um, and so this, it landed how I liked it. The circles in the middle, uh, everything going around it, I feel like turned out really well. And this is one of my favorite ones I've ever done on her. Tiffany's probably due for one right now. Her hair, she's got both sides shaved now, so I bet she's struggling through this quarantine. Uh, but I'm gonna see all these people when we get back and I can't wait. All right, number seven guys. You just saw this cut in one of my last videos. This is my guy, Easton. Um, and on this, we're gonna talk about the beard. So uh, his hair, regular haircut, little skin fade, short on top. He does have some receding going on. So we just kind of cut it even on top. Not a lot of style going on there, but uh, definitely the best beard that I have. Um, and I have worked on perfecting my beard shaping um, since I've been cutting his hair. And again, guys, he, uh, he actually worked with me in the kitchen at Buffalo Wild Wings before I became a barber. Uh, and, and has been coming to me ever since. So uh, a funny line for you guys, one time I, I asked to do his beard before he really grew it out. Uh, and his comment was, ain't no grown man should let another man touch his beard. Uh, and so I'm not sure how many years later it was, probably two, uh, one or two. And uh, finally he was gonna grow his beard out for No Shave November and I told him to grow it out and let me get a hold of it. And if he didn't like it, he didn't have to pay for it. Uh, and you guys see how good his beard turns out. So definitely the best beard I have. Um, he's just got that real full bushy beard. Uh, so it always turns out super nice. All right, number six, guys. This haircut is one of the uh, clips in my intro video. Uh, this is the favorite texture that I've ever put out. That's why that's in the intro. Um, I've cut her hair a lot of times too. I had a tough time picking which ones to put in this. Um, but this style right here, funny enough, she has normal colored hair. Usually she has a bunch of color in her hair. Uh, it's pretty, it's, it's a little bit maroon in this, but it's really pretty natural. Um, and just the texture that we achieved uh, in this cut is my favorite that I've ever done. So you guys can see all the pieciness. Um, it just really came out nice. I don't even remember what we did on the sides on this cut. That's how, that's how well I like the top. I don't even have any pictures of the sides. So 
Um, again, guys, as I'm getting better, texture is one of those things I'm trying to figure out. And this is definitely the best I had done at the time. So I'll put this one down at number six. All right, number five, guys. This is a haircut I just did a video on not too long ago. This is a hairstylist that I cut. Um, she always comes in with super cool hair color on top. That is not something that I do. Um, just here recently, she has let me start cutting the top because she wants to wear it a little bit shorter. Um, she used to wear it really long and up, and I'll throw a couple of her uh, pictures in as well. She's always let me do whatever I want on the sides. She will give me some guidance. Um, but super cool hair to cut, and this is just one of my favorites. The, the way the pink and the texture turned out with the design on the side, and I did the design below where I knew that weight would lay. And uh, just again, as I get more technical and learn, uh, being able to achieve things like that that go together, putting out a finished product that's nice, uh, this, this is one of my favorites. So this is gonna go down to number five. All right guys, so number four, my guy Marcus. And again, guys, I'm gonna throw you out some timeline haircuts here. Uh, Marcus has really tough, dark hair. Uh, down around the neck and, and and just some of those dark spots are really hard to blend uh, So I've used him over the years to kind of test myself and see how much better I've gotten uh, and, and see how well I can put a low fade on him. So this again guys This is another video I put out not too long ago. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's super cool uh, But I have really just gotten good at cutting his hair over the years He's one of my first barbers that started the shop and uh, this is definitely my favorite cut I've put on him This is almost was gonna be top three uh, but my top three is pretty tough. So, uh, but this cut guys, he's got super tough texture of hair uh, to cut. It leaves a lot of dark spots and then doing this low of a fade on him is definitely tough. So like I said, I, I'll show you those other pictures. You guys can see that I struggled a little bit with some of those, uh, but this cut right here turned out fire and uh, super stoked with it. So, all right guys, so for number three, we're gonna see Jackson cuts hair again. And guys, this is my favorite design I've ever done on Jackson. Um, at this point guys, we've probably done 50 different designs on his head at least. And I probably have pictures of probably 30 of them. So uh, they're all pretty good. You guys know, it's, again, I said this before, but it's, it's hard to come up with new designs. Um, and this is one that I kind of tried and I was trying to perfect uh, the swirl in the middle. I was trying to perfect how that, how that landed. Uh, and this cut right here, uh, I just really love the way it turned out. And, and funny thing guys, on, on all my designs, I can look at something and, and say, I don't like how that turned out. And honestly, on this one, the very front little curve by the sideburn, uh, that's my least favorite part. But basically from there back, I just, I love this design. It's one of my favorites I've ever done. And uh, we actually tried it again, didn't turn out as well. So man, and I'm missing cutting Jackson's hair. I'm missing cutting everybody's hair, but uh, we went live with Jackson the other night. Uh, and he, his hair looks like a chia pet. He's doing this, it's hashtag, my barber's quarantined and I'm loyal. Uh, and he's sharing, uh, trying to spread it around to get people to post how, how bad their hair looks and how grown out it is. Uh, during this time, but saying that uh, he's gonna wait for me to get back to work because uh, he's loyal, so that's my guy. Um, I do wanna do a video soon, guys, just really on the backstory of me and Jackson. Um, I may do that soon and just break down what's going on, uh, where he came from, how we became such good friends, and kind of what the future looks like, so. All right, guys, so at number two, again, longtime client. I was cutting this guy. He's about four feet tall. He had a man bun, bleached blonde hair when he was younger. Uh, just the cutest little kid. Now he's uh, I would say probably 13 or 14. He's about my height. Um, he's a good looking kid. So he has really good hair. Uh, he he's never was one that wanted to cut the top. Uh, he really loved leaving the top long. So as I learned how to do these crop tops and, and do block graduation, uh, you know, my goal has always been to be able to achieve whatever length on top while, while blending into the sides. So uh, guys, this is the best I've ever done with that. Um, and his hair is actually kind of hard to cut. Um, always looks good in the end, but it's a little bit difficult to cut. So. Uh, this cut, I just really grasped a few things I had been trying to learn, uh, placed it right where I wanted, uh, the two notches in the back. When I took a picture of this and looked at it, I, I just couldn't get over how much I liked this haircut. So it's a, it's a, my number two haircut. It, honestly, it fought for number one, uh, but the number one, guys, I got lots of angles. Definitely my favorite haircut I ever did. So this is the number one cut, guys. Tara, again, she made the list twice. Uh, this is, not only is this my favorite color that she did, uh, the purple and blue, and I always called it the Mike Wazowski haircut, uh, but it's actually solely from Monsters Inc. I, I got my colors mixed up. Uh, but anyways, purple and blue turned out dope. The texture turned out pretty nice. Not quite as good as the other one, um, but it is a little bit longer in this picture. And again, guys, I, I achieved the blend to the weight on the sides. Um, the texture is nice. And then I'm gonna show you guys some other angles of this. Uh, but you guys can see the design turned out nice. The blend turned out nice. Uh, the photos turned out nice. And she's always down to uh, do her makeup to go with the haircut. So just overall uh, finished product here. This is definitely my favorite haircut. I got lots of cool pictures from it. 
And uh, when I knew I was making this video, I, I pulled that picture out first because I knew that was going to be my number one. It's just always been a haircut that when I see it, I want to repost it, put it back out there, you know, different angles and, and different posts. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this video. These are my top 10 haircuts I've ever done. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you agreed or if you like something better and it should have been number one. So guys, I appreciate all you guys watching my videos. Like I said, I'm bored out of my mind. I've been home for three and a half weeks now, something like that. Can't wait to get back to cutting hair. Uh, but I'm going to keep trying to bring some content for you guys. And, and even if it's just stuff like this, I am going to do that backstory on Jackson video. Uh, I may do a walk through my barber school um, and talk about barber school and show some of my, my school and what I went through. Uh, but again, guys, if you have any ideas, drop me a video below. A lot of the ideas I had, I really need a client to be able to teach you guys the ideas that you're, that you're dropping me. Um, so if you have something else that I can do in the meantime, uh, please leave it down below. And guys, of course, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We've just hit 2,500. I'm super stoked. Uh, we're gonna keep moving up through this. And when we get back, we're gonna come hard with some super cool haircuts. I'm gonna have lots of transformations. Uh, you guys know nobody's had a haircut. So stay tuned for all that. Um, guys, hit me a thumbs up on this video. I'll catch you next time. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click this link right here. If you want to check out some more content from me, check out this video right here. Appreciate it.